Brother, you know, no rather me come do. You know, the rather me come and talk about and beat Andrew Holness and tell him free up the place and do it and talk all of them things. Eh. But once somebody I talk against the things that on the mind is kind of opposed, that you know, no one hear it. One is better, one is no better than the Christian name in the church where you try to speak some facts to and actually atrocities of religion. And them just say, I don't want to hear it. You understand me? You know, if you stop looking like foolishness, man. Me, me, there's quite a few people within the industry who pass based on COVID related issues. Barrio here. Barrio here, I know a lot of people don't know, but Barrio here was the main producer slash engineer, technician, down at a studio named Ocherius Grove Entertainment, IRFM studio, IRFM the radio station. And from IRFM inception and them build them studio, Barrio here was a chief engineer right there. Great engineer, produced some of my, uh, some of um, Garnet Silk, them best song. Mix some of Garnet Silk, them best song. Cool dude, man. know him. Bridging. And when me hear say him, him dead based on COVID-19 related, related issues, I couldn't believe. See? Nice youth. And next youth, I forget to name, my next producer youth, them say drop out based on COVID related issues. See? Him? The man drop out. People are dead and all of these things. Me take sick and me go through it and me know say, yo, shit. If them people are sick and, and catch it and die, oh God, I have to warn typical folks who are run up and down like say, yo, the shit not real. And that me I do. Yes, my girl get it. My girl got it and her sister got it. I pass it on to both of them. You know? Hannibal said, Mullen for the for lungs. I never try that, bro. I passed it on to both of them. And them was totally incapacitated. Lick them away. But them strong. Them younger than me, so them strong, you know? And, um, no means that them not got through some serious ordeal. And me have to turn, me have to turn around and do, and do for them what them do for me. The two of them look after me. <coughs> Up to now, me a cough. Up to now, I can't get this thing off of my chest. I have a cough, one dry cough every now and then, you know? So, I tell you, say the thing take peace on my star, yo. I have to be like, try and make my dick work right now, because I need, um, need to build up my strength first, you know? I know it's not done, but I don't really I got go there so yet. I don't go back and try to get sexual and them stuff right now, because weak, weak, virgin. I don't know if you can hear my speech, this is a weak man speaking, you know? Elderberry, why the amount of things, the amount of bush, Hannibal, the amount of bush I take, bro? You know? <laughs> you gave it to your friends too. <laughs> Rolex, do your own life and talk about your own COVID experience, the man. <laughs> yo, COVID take a piece of you. It take a piece of you. I'm not, yo, me is not myself. So you see, if I go out there and do something crazy, just blame it on COVID, alright? Blame it on COVID because I think there's, it leave one piece of alien life for me. You know what I say? Yes, man. I have to eat back the gym and, and start so again. I'm sure I'm sure going to be okay, like everybody else. But I made the item know the thing real. And as artists and, and, and as artists and um, influencers and producers, we have a duty. Um, we have a duty to let people know. Not just joining and talking about the earthquake down at 80 and the Rasta girl with them trim and, and these things. We have to talk about COVID because. I don't want to see the item go through when you go through. I don't. That's all I'm there for telling you. I don't want to see when you go through when you go through. Because enough people not not enough people not able to manage it. Especially, especially the elderly. 
I can't imagine my mother being sick with COVID. I care how strong she is. Because that coughing and the lack of being able to breathe right that comes right after. The gaps were, and it now come and now come and it now come and you have to work through it and work through it. Imagine people who have um, asthma. You know what I'm saying? People with asthma, they're not going to survive that something. Else. Impossible. You know? Coughing, man, yes, bro. Coughing, terrible, man. So, the eye, them just look out of them eyes, star, and protect themselves. And, and, and if them say sanitization work, you know, sanitize. If them say, if you can stay away from people, you go and stay away from people a little bit. You know? Until we get on top of this thing. I not tell no one to go and get vaccinated. Do no one do. And if I do get vaccinated, me, I, I me, I do what I want to do. You know? I am not here to spread the message of being vaccinated. You know? Never get the coffee, man. You know, fever on the joint. <clears throat> Chucky Thompson, the producer, that, yes. Yes. I mean, I tell you, it take peace of you, bro. Yo. One of the time I wake up and it's like, say, I don't know who I get in our days, I hallucinate and do things. You know? I can count the times when I wake up with a strong fever, like the whole bed wet. I wet, 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 wet. I wake up with a fever, with a strong temperature. I could have did friggin' catch a strokes. I say, what I catch fever for? Like, like the, you just, every now and then you get a strong fever and then it disappears. You know? Here somebody said them friend died from it last night. Yeah man, make them go and write them foolish man. Make them go and write them foolish. You know so a lot of people are at the stage where they they, they prefer to be um, ignorant and jump out with some like a joke thing and, and actually type it out as a comment because they mind at that stage, you know what I say? Enough people mind not really evolve. I was at that stage once. I was at that stage when I was so anti-religious, I make it my point of duty to try to wise up people and beat that anti-religious drum so hard when it wasn't necessary. Put the information out there, who want to accept it, accept it, who don't want to accept it, accept it. It's not my duty. It's not my duty to wise up people and wake up people. It's my duty to disperse information when I get it. And who want to accept it, accept it. And who want to believe when I say right now about COVID? Believe. And who don't want to believe? Fuck on all of them ignorance. You understand? Somebody in the hospital now try to figure out the breed. <laughs> Real, yeah. Real, yeah. So we don't dare to tell nobody to take the vaccine. That is not my mission. I just tell the eye them, be careful. Be careful, all the things that happen in the world now, and I don't know how the item has survived, star. See, it's a system the power we. System the power we see the rain a bit hard. We don't know how poor people are surviving. We don't know how we are going to make it out for the rest of the year because things are not easy. And that is the reality. We don't buy into the people man, on social media. Things where people are portrayed. It's hard for people, it's rough for a lot of people. See? So you see, before me go tell people about get up and rise up and go march and go do this and do that. Me want to know say me have one ten million dollar or more put on. Fi go bail the people them and help them out when the system push back at them. See, enough people are tell people about rise up and go do this and do this and da 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 da, and them comfortably you know them live in a, a nice mansion and them have them security and them have all the amount of financial security in the world for themselves and for who them care about them now say yo me have 20 million dollar right now and me ready for we come together as a force unite and do what we have to do for make the changes no them just come online every day tell people for wise up and and I saw you thing work people, now make them tell no fuck it. Because when them forgot, they're gonna make for them food and secure for them future that them go do. I threw them things secure now and them alright. 
enough of them secure and them all right and them now have nothing to do enough people have money and are not happy enough people have money and are know what to do to find some peace and contentment because them stress the fuck out and the things where money can buy so you know what them are do now them are come try to drive fear in the people and then tell them this for rise up and this and whatever them for tell the people them for get educated them for tell the fathers them for take care of them kids that are, that's supposed to be the message you know be a good parent, take care of the kids them and get educated. And this, this all problems stop. All problems stop right there. So. Get educated. Because you see, ignorance is black people's biggest problem. Because a simple life like this, when I, when I talk about my COVID experience, and an asshole is going to come and write, and I say, me an agent. Like nobody can buy me out. See me, I deal with <clears throat> So. We have the messages wrong. Everybody want to be militant and everybody want to be soldier and everybody want to portray this image of oh go take it to them and we unruly and with this and that. And I say it work. And I say it work. Because the system you never build overnight. This system where we live under and its rules and its regulation, it was not built overnight. So you can't just get up today and say you want to be unruly. They will bury you. And if they can bury you, imagine what they will do to poor people. Stop telling people about be unruly and revolt and whatever. Tell people say, if you get educated. Tell people say, get educated. Start being good mothers and fathers to their kids. And stop making the youth them go out there and get influenced by dance and by whoever. And I do the wrong thing. Because aside from COVID, crime are the biggest problem in Jamaica. Biggest problem in Jamaica. But the problem is nobody now get love. Nobody now feel the youth them not loved from in them household. The parents them themselves misguided because of young people that have kids. You just you just, you just frightened for say 27 year old with picnic we are 12. Seriously. So a 27 year old youth now we grew up in the garrison. We never get no farm and nurturing and love and certain things now. A lot of them don't know if you impact that upon a child with them have. And them themselves out there misguided and run up and down with them neck chop off and people are press them button. And that's why crime can't stop and that's why the country can't let a certain ignorance bridging because the people them not tell the people them the right thing. <coughs> Sorry. Tell the people them to get educated and tell the people them to build them family structure better and care for each other and learn to support them community and show love to them brother. And stop telling the people them to rise up and go fight. Because as I say, when the people I don't see nobody step forward. I say them I put up a bill fund for the people them we are get lock up for wear for not wearing masks. Most people out there now follow the rules and now wear masks. And I press them and I tell them, say, don't wear no masks and don't buy into them system. And a lot of them I get locked up on a daily basis and I'm being victimized by police. And none of them set up no organization with, a, with lawyers and funding for bail these people. No relief funding whatsoever. But you know, you know, I go come talk with an iron mighty voice and tell the people them forget unruly. I don't mean the I don't mean the people them no good. I don't do mean the people them no good. You can't tell poor people for rise up, and there's no perfect leadership with a structure behind. Because when them get locked up, none of them show up at station and say, "I come for bail, John Tom." You know, I lock him up yesterday because he never wearing a mask. You know, and we are fight against the system. You know, no, look up and and end up on the live chat bullshitting other people them here, see me, bro. And I saw the thing work. And then a person who, who is no better than the, 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 the man them will press the youth them button and give them gun for go fire. Stop using the influence and give the people them ignorance and feed the people them ignorance. Don't use your ignorance because the people them look up to you know, as some influential people. Don't use that and, and, and misguide the people them. Do not do that. It is not fair. It's not fair. He's no better than the politician them will come in and mislead the people them and buy votes and do them a fiddle. 
stop use your influence and sell people ignorance it don't make no sense tell the people them to educate themselves before them start and you need to, who know, need to educate yourself before you start talk. I never come on, uh, on this thing and say burn COVID and burn Andre Me I me complain say you need to make some money because my bills are for pay -ray. but I will never come and speak about COVID vaccination and all of these things because I do not have enough knowledge and the worst thing you can do is a feed people things where you're not friggin certain about virgin you know what I say you can't feed people information where you're not even certain about where you're not fact check for yourself I may attack everybody of influence everybody of influence not because not because you have a voice your voice is always right your voice not always right virgin your voice not always right So, this is my approach. My approach is, people, COVID thing here, it real. It really killing people. If you're overweight, try get healthy because it prey upon people them that is obese. If you have underlying sickness, if you have <coughs> asthma respiratory issues if you have um, what you call it high blood pressure and them stuff there be very careful right and if you are elderly be extra careful now if you think that you can get an extra layer of protection by go getting vaccinated you can do that I am just saying this, this shit is as real as it comes and if you know you're vulnerable with any of these underlying sickness you are the ones who need to be very careful a lot of people have it and them don't show no sickness or whatever but if you have underlying sickness may I tell you be careful that's all that is my message to the people then. I'm African come say it because now and then we get pious and we beat the jumbo other things and it's not fair for me to talk about other things and then when you go through something like COVID and it deal with your wicked you don't come tell the people them the truth tell the people them the truth man tell the people them so the thing real yo. talk truthfully nobody not kill you for your words or your words and your experiences and everybody on a day like this <clears throat> if you want to be somebody like Marcus Garvey and say you are a patriot for your people them. preach Marcus Garvey message don't preach ignorance Marcus Garvey wasn't preaching ignorance Marcus Garvey was his biggest number one goal was for unification amongst his people and he was, a, he was able to achieve that by getting organizing at least over a thousand charters across the world Seeing, imagine it's like a religion and him have a church in a every city in a every state in America and across the globe over 2 million members in the United States alone and Marcus Garvey achieved that without internet he achieved it without telephones he only had a newspaper so he was very good at getting people together and unifying people for a greater good his number one mission was back to Africa let's go back to Africa and, and um, bring our skills and build Africa and, and, and set up our own <coughs> government see set up our own government and, and build now he was a great spokesperson he was a great he was very good at uh, um, giving speeches and they have a strong voice and all of that and a lot, of, a lot of us see people like that a lot of us see our national heroes like that <coughs> sorry and we want to to, to to do that and portray that image because we are so in love with it and you know I respect it and love it 
But we still have to be mindful of the information we are pass on to the people them bro. See? Because these people can't help themselves. And them don't have nothing. Them don't have the resources where we have. So you can't tell a man to go out there in the world and be unruly. And you know so you're not having back when the system clamping. Just don't make no sense. So before you feed, you feed the people them, them type of information there and get them riled up. Build your house and put your house in order. Put your house in order and get your lawyers them. Because that is the only way you can fight back at this system. Is by the books opening up. And people reviewing the laws and find ways around it. And that's the only way you beat the system. There's no other way to beat the system. Don't make them tell you nothing. Yeah. Loud the ignorance, man. That is my message to the item. Dig up the item, sir. See? Thank you. I will I will continue in inform you guys about my progress. I'm, I think I think it's eighty percent. <coughs> As a cancer, I still have the, the, the little dry cough. I'm still weak, you know. It's impossible for me to run a marathon with any woman right now. So I'm going to like try. <sighs> but we're there. I will give thanks. And on the day above ground, we have a grateful. China! <laughs> Bam! Look at people. Look at people. You see what you do for me? <laughs> Soup, this, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, my soup, I should prepare and carry come give me. Yeah. So, when you have good people in your life, thank you, Mama. Yeah. Have good people in your life, you can't run. So, big up the eye themselves, you know, and enjoy the little rain where you fall. Trying to get washed away. Bless up. Ah, oh, Nami. No,